How you doing, Mark Edward? Good to see you. Good. How are you? Good. Good. Um, I, I wanted to ask you. You know, it was about a year ago that you and I sat down and talked about your 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 rookie season and how you kind of burst on the scene. And you know, it's it's almost similar to what Mario went through last year. He, he kind of came came out of I don't want to say came out of nowhere, but established himself quickly as an NHL player. Um, you know, if you think back to your time where you were coming into your second year after that, what made it easier? in your second season as compared to maybe your first training camp when you're just still trying to make the team? Well, what's easier in your second year is that you've had that first year of experience. Um, it doesn't get easier. It gets harder as the years go by, but at least you have that first year of knowing what it takes to play in this league and um, knowing how to play um, chemistry with a teammate. Um, so I don't think Mario will have any uh, difficulties adjusting to his second year. How is it? How is it? Uh, how is it easier? How you know? Are you more confident coming into to your second camp there? If you can remember. Well, yeah, you f you feel more confident. You have that first year um, behind you, knowing you you belong in this league, knowing what it takes to play in this league, and um, you build confidence that way. And Mario is coming in with a lot of confidence this year. You know, what can you say about his personality and how he fits in the dressing room? Because he's obviously, you know, kind of a, a, an affable guy. He's, he's, he's very conversational, it seems. You know, is it, is it good having that guy uh, in the dressing room, too, just uh, his personality can kind of shine through a little bit? Yeah, I love having him in the locker room. He's, he's a fun guy. He's always uh, upbeat, energetic. Uh, he's a funny guy. I love having him around. Um, the, the only other question I had is um, – you know, Bob talked yesterday about how he's coming into camp now with his own staff and obviously the interim tag is removed from a player's perspective. You know, does it does it help anything knowing that the coach there's certainty among the coaching staff and, and there's no more moving parts? It's Bob, it's his assistants and, you know, they're here for the foreseeable future. Uh, maybe for them, for personally, for me, doesn't matter who the coach is interim or not. Uh, you play to win games. Uh, you listen, you, you play to the system. So it doesn't matter who's behind the bench. you got to go out there and perform. So um, I'm here to win games. And if he's interim or not, um, that's good on him that he's not anymore. He's officially the head coach. But it doesn't change the way I go out there and, and play my game. Do you sense anything different with, with, with the way he's, he's kind of handled camp so far? Or is it about what you expected? About what I expected. I've been with Boogie a while now, so I know what to expect. But uh, some new systems, some new adjustments. Um, so we're going to work on that through training camp, but nothing that's uh, dramatically different from the years before. Okay, thanks. Curtis? Hi, Mark Edward. Thanks for doing this Hi. today. Um, obviously, you know, there's a few players on the team that probably you needed the time to sort of uh, get over injuries and, and things like that during these last nine, ten months. How have you tried to use these, this, this time off to, to your advantage? I spent the last nine months every day with my dogs before they were taken from me. So um, I had a fantastic 2020 uh, right up until September. And then um, just I worked out, rested, spent time with uh, my wife and dogs. Was, was the rest maybe the most important part just for just for yourself? Well, it's good to have some time off. Um, I had a lot of time off, but uh, the rest was nice, and now I'm eager to get back. See, the, the league announced that it's going to be going back to the Olympics in 2022. Is that a bit of a, you know, an extra incentive for yourself to show Hockey Canada that you can still be a part of that team? Uh, yeah, if we're going, I'm going to do everything I can to try to make that team. Um, hopefully, we still get to go. Uh, that's an objective of mine. Um, it's right around the corner, so I don't have much time left to prove that I still belong on that team. It looks like you, you've been paired with, with Eric again at camp this year. Is that, how has that gone so far for, for you guys? Well, it's gone well. Um, we know each other pretty well. Um, we get along on the ice, get along off the ice. Um, I think we can both help each other's game offensively and defensively. So if we get off to a good start, I think we can be a very dangerous pair out there. Thank you. Shang. Hey, Mark. Uh, good to see you again. Hi. Uh, I, hi. 
Uh, I'm uh, wondering, uh, you uh, mentioned, uh, or I saw on your Twitter that when the, there's a the rumor that there might be games in Tahoe and you uh, tweeted something out, uh, just, you know, can you expand on that tweet a little bit? Oh, I just love Tahoe. I mean, I, would I have liked to play in Tahoe? Yeah, but I, I don't, I was just stirring the pot. <laughs> Fair enough. And uh, Bob has uh, said that, you know, uh, you know, you're paired with Eric here and both you and Eric would, you know, self-admittedly say that last season maybe wasn't uh, what you guys wanted. Uh, so what do you have to do this season to yourself to kind of uh, turn it around kind of? What are you looking for out of yourself? Well, with the new system, I think uh, I can create more offensively. Uh, I've had many years with uh, 30 plus points. I had a year with 11 goals, so I can contribute offensively. And I think playing with Carl, that'll help my game offensively. And I think uh, I can help our both our games defensively. So I think if we come out being aggressive, uh, not being afraid to make mistakes, just uh, just going out there and playing our game, starting off just being creative. I think if we do that, we can be one of the most dangerous pairs out there. And uh, Bob has said that uh, he expects uh, Eric and Brent to be on the top in power play one. Are you hoping to fill out, you know, the back end of power play two? If I do, I will uh, do it to the best that I can. Um, my job is to help the team win games, whichever way that is. And uh, finally, um, obviously with Joe Thornton leaving, uh, there is a void at alternate captain. Uh, Bob hasn't said if he's going to fill that or not, but is that something that you're hoping to be selected for? If I get it, great. If I don't, great. Um, my job year after year is to help the team win, shut down the best players on the other side. And um, if I have it, great. If I don't, great. It doesn't change the way I uh, approach the games. All right. Thank you so much, Mark. You're welcome. Kevin? Yeah, um, Mark Edward, it, it, something else Bob, Bob said uh, early on was that, you know, last last year, maybe the last two years, the vet, the veterans, and he didn't mention it by name, but we're just maybe guilty of, of just wading into the waters of training camp, and that bled a little bit into the start of the regular season. Uh, it, do, do, you, do you agree with that, and, and is there maybe a renewed sense of urgency from, you know, the veterans – the veteran core group to make sure that training camp is maybe a little bit more taken a little bit more seriously this year. Well, I, I don't think we were, I think everybody takes stuff seriously. Everybody has a work ethic. I just think collectively we weren't as sharp as we could have been uh, attention to detail. Uh, so I think that kind of creeped into our regular season as well. Um, you know, everybody works hard. You just got to work smart and that's not what we did. Um, obviously, it starts with our best players and everybody else follows. So obviously, your best players must be your best players so that everybody sees the work ethic you put in and follows you. I know it's only a few days in, but do you get the sense that things are better in that regard through four days or whatever it's been? Well, I think after nine months, I think it's, uh, you know, you're getting used to passing the pace. But I think the attention to detail is there before anything else. But the, uh, the aspect of team chemistry, getting the passes right, the, the system down, it'll take a couple of days, but I think we're on track. Thanks. Curtis? Mark, you mentioned at the start, at the start you had your dogs taken away from you. Does that mean you wanted to bring them to Scottsdale? Would that, did you want to do that? No, I lost to one in September and one in November. Oh, I, I apologize. I'm sorry about that. No, I I could have said left, but taken away is because, you know, they didn't decide to leave and I didn't decide that, you know, I wanted them to leave. So they just, they were taken away. And so that's why I appreciate the, the time off since the month of March to be able to spend every day with them.